Hi everyone, Albert here and welcome to this let's play. Well, uh, I'm still working on this character, so I decided I'm gonna swap a feed over here by Fred. This gives me healing amp, which I really like. Right now my healing amp is 233. Positive spell power is 377, so I'll be dropping both of these a bit. But swap it out for uh, the epic wording or whatever it's called. And no, sorry. Every time you spend tree, you spend points. This the Harper tree gets unspent. No, the angles got that again. Okay, we need to go to lower docks. Sometimes there's certain things you do that like break part of your abilities and you need to turn them back on and off. And if you don't, they don't really work right. It also happens with items sometimes. Like you change something about something, I don't know, and then all of a sudden you find like that your the abilities, your you know, the buffs or whatever it is, isn't really working the way you expect it. It's very weird. Anyway, so this time we're going to go for safety and numbers, I guess. Safety and numbers. Right, let's see how this goes. A bit more defensive. And we shall see. I should go get a, a wand of blur so I can cost, cast it on myself. I do have a death ward clicky, but I'm being cheap and using the hireling. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to do this. Some basic buffs. The Underlane neighborhood should be in this area. With luck, you can find the rally before anyone gets hurt. reason it always takes me time to like get into the swing of things every time I start playing I have to start like uh, waking myself up so to speak the locals eye you curiously as you round the corner into the streets of underlane this is definitely not my uh, play style breakables yeah breakables are very very important when doing uh, Reapers. Simply because it's a global modifi uh, modifier to your XP. And what's going to do is going to make sure that uh, your total XP goes up. Which is, yeah, the whole point of doing Reaper, the XP.
I mean, unless you're a masochist and you think it's fun. I mean, soloing Reapers is, uh... Are you lost, buddy? Uh, whatever. Get it while I can. Something like that. Well, collectible here, or is this just a note? Oh, note. Not a collectible. They're very annoying when you get a champion. But for some reason, all you see is the crown. You don't see the name. You're like, is this very dangerous or not? And only sometimes you find out based on what kind of damage you suddenly start taking. Taught that barrel a lesson. Notes. Never mind. Trash is hanging out Several over here. of the patrons in this makeshift tavern glare at you with suspicious looks. Why am I stuck on the wrong side? Whatever. You know, one thing this build can definitely not do is any range damage. Well, any meaningful range damage. Do I have any chance? Breakables. Nope. No bonus for it yet. Sunlight pours through a crystal set into the base of a hanging tower, providing much needed light to a small garden set into the street below. Carnage Reaper. Got him. Now it looks like I'm fighting two fights at once. Not very good. And I'm not looking for trouble, so I'm not going to go down here and fight a whole bunch of uh, Forge Wraiths. Got to heal up a bit. A group of ruffians is shaking down one of the local merchants. Their leader turns in your direction and says, What are you looking at? I'm a bit worried about the end fight. Hopefully it goes. Hopefully it goes over fine. I think there's a shrine here. Yes, there's a shrine here. Did I just get a bonus for breakables? Yep, 8% breakables, so that's good. It is possible to get over this thing, but I don't think there's any breakables over there. I mean, I'm not sure, but whatever. Still got... No, no more second wind. Hmm. 
we'll probably try to clear the last group over here and then uh, go uh, go rest. I think I need a better weapon. Problem is right now I made sure that all of my gear is all technically free to play. Well, not pure 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 play if you start the game like right now you might not be able to use everything i have but uh, i made sure that all the items come from packs up to sharn so from adventure packs that were either given away with the giveaway or from the expansion packs who were Another given away for 99 points seems intent on blocking your uh, so no feywild gear and uh, no salt marsh gear none of that so I would really like to use like dinosaur born crafting, but I'm not, area so. looks like a good place to rest. So that's part of the consideration. I'm trying to make this build uh, work with a uh, well, work with some limited resources. So I, I am very much trying to make a point. Or these thugs who are attacking me while I'm trying to rest, just trying to make a point. Anybody else want to come bother me? Thank you. I mean, I probably could get my Harlings to come help me, but uh, there's a good chance that they'll die in that fight. One of the other things I did is I tried to make sure that there's no like uh, serious raid gear. So I do have some like level 20 chronoscope raid gear, but you can farm it on heroic and by yourself. So I, I don't really consider that a problem. I and mean, you're gonna have to get some uh, tokens to upgrade it. So it is what it is. I have massive stacks of potions. I never used them. I really should. This is another OCD thing that I have. They gotta be in the same order. Every time I have, uh, I set up like my clickies or my spells, they always have to be in the same order. So it's got to be like, Sonic's got to be here on the right. Electricity is on the middle, I think. Acids all, all the way on the left. Then coal, then fire. Why? Because reasons. <laughs> Don't ask. But I do have still a wand with some of the charges in it. You didn't know you can set them like this and then when you just double click it won't open up this uh, menu so. I should really get a draconic soul gem don't have to do this okay fine well, ready or not, here we go. Oh, I forgot. Been too cheap to buy myself a, a wand of blur. Oh, I keep on forgetting. And I've got this guy over here, so. Well, here we go.
Come on. I don't want to go in there. They can stand here and try to bait me out. I, the one I want is the boss. I want to fight the boss without fighting everybody else at the same time. Okay, yeah, fine, whatever, I'll go in. You arrive at the rally to find the courtyard in shambles. Come by, please. this one over. Another yeah. group of attackers pours into the courtyard. Hopefully I can get my uh, hireling to, s to get in here and res me before he gets killed immediately. What I can do is I can distract him by sending uh, sending the shield guardian to this side. Then summoning my uh, other hireling to the other side. Let's give it a shot. Them. How much hit points does this guy have? 37,000.
Do I happen to have a cake? No. Nope. Yeah, for some annoying reason, they have to lock you out so you can't, like, save yourself or your progress. Yep, well, it is what it is. Did I ever say I really hate Reaper? The thing I hate about it is it's designed to force you to do something. Well, this is a video game. You're supposed to have fun. Anytime you have your hand heavily bent to do one thing, it's going to inevitably make it unfun. As much as this is unfun, joining this is even more unfun. Yeah, fine. I'm going to give it a shot on R1. Just in case you haven't already, well, at least now you've seen the quest, because basically it's just a long end fight. Yeah. Yeah, why can't you re-enter? Reaper. Sacrificial, uh, whatever it is. Oh, hirelings. Because why not? You just stand here in the hallway, not doing anything, so. The might as well. neighborhood should be in this area. With luck. You can find the rally before anyone gets hurt. Well, let's see how this goes. eye you curiously as you round the corner into the streets of Underlane. But there's a few breakables here. Probably need to work on my defense. Several of the patrons in this makeshift but, yeah, tavern then again, glare at you with The struggle is looks. basically how you learn. So. Not for the fact that I'm trying to make videos, I would have never stepped into this. Well, I 
wouldn't say never, never, but unlikely it would be anytime soon. Sunlight pours through a crystal set into the base of a hanging tower, providing much needed light to a small garden set into the street below. Seems to be going much better. Either that or I've woken up. The level of Reaper you do it on is part of the multiplier for the XP formula, so going from R1 to R2 is literally twice as much XP. Well, kind of. But after that, it's only, well, it's not as much an increase. I mean, because 2 to 3 is another 50%. Not another hundred percent increase. If you can follow that math. Oh. Thought that was a collectible, whatever. A group of ruffians is shaking down one of the local merchants. Their leader turns in your direction and says, What are you looking at? This small house Kenneth work area looks like a good place to rest. Surprised I wasn't attacked. Maybe you have to click on the shrine. I don't know. How many breakables? Ten percent. Very nice. Get this last group. Another group of surly ruffians seems intent on blocking your path. <laughs> Having the hireling as uh, hirelings as cannon fodder is also. Uh, Seems to be pretty useful. This means you're attacking it instead of attacking me. Yeah, apparently resting. At least that's the way it looks. Triggers some kind of uh, attack. No? Fine. Ward and this again. You should rest, and you should rest, and you should rest. Rest. Why can't they rest? Did they all rest already? I don't know. Whatever. Fine. The acid things over here were hitting pretty hard. Also, some fire and electric. One thing you gotta notice when you do buffing is you don't accidentally uh, swap your you items arrive at the rally to find the and then uh, leave them. Shambles. Really hoping I was gonna be able to get the boss and the uh, Reaper at the same time. Could move Jade both of them, but nope. It's very important you get rid of the trash before you get rid of the boss because you don't want to have to fight 
multiple rounds of trash together. As far as I remember, you kill the boss, then the next round spawns in. Probably I'm wrong, but whatever. Got the Carnage Reaper right away. That was good. So, he asked me, is it possible to do this in R2? Uh, maybe with some practice? I don't know. Probably should just stick to R1, though. More reinforcements arrive, intent on capturing the Warforged. Got the Famine Reaper. Also got the boss. Man, this is a mess. Stone guard. Well, we're gonna find out if the next round spawns in before. Doesn't look like it. For an instant, you think you've dealt with all of them. I then guess I was wrong. An imposing orc enters the courtyard. He grunts. Oh, you don't know who you're dealing with. You'll pay for interfering with us. Okay. Probably gonna run out of my uh, action hero moment. Cause I'm pretty sure that lagged. Yeah. The orc crumples. You think you've won? He mutters. This is just one job. You can't stop all of them. There are powerful people behind this. They'll never... But he never finishes the sentence. Okay, loot. Nice. Plus five UMD. Very good item. How much XP did I get, by the way? Yeah, 1,300. Probably got like closer to 2,000 if I had, uh, well, it is what it is. Well, yeah, I guess that's it. I guess it's a bit of a longer episode. Not really, I mean. Yeah. Anyway, I probably should stick to R1. Try it R2. If I can't, then R1. But whatever. Anyways, as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. And hope to see you on my next video. Bye.